okay assalamu alaikum students and good morning so today we are going to have our discussion on modifier and uh, the particular thing which we are going to discuss today is post modifier now what i am going to do is i am going to present a passage to you and we will practice modifier from this particular passage now let's see let's read down the following passage and then try to modify the particular words the passage starts with a noun Akbar. then we find that there is a gap uh, there is a, a word in the bracket that is appositive in the examination of course you will be given the detailed instruction that is uh, post modify this noun with an appositive before going to that of course let's clarify the uh, <clears throat> post model uh, uh, let's clarify what is a post modifier a post modifier is a kind of modifier which is used after the particular word which is being modified so pre-modifier modifies and it is used before the particular word which is modified and post modifier is used just after the particular word which is modified that is the basic difference now let's see Akbar appositive is famous for his achievements now what is appositive appositive in a very easy way we can say that it is a noun phrase which often gives extra information about any other particular noun so we can say akbar the great emperor or the great Mughal emperor or a famous emperor or a famous king it's up to you now often you can use your own idea your own vocabularies just keeping the <clears throat> instructions just maintaining the instructions you can use your own vocabularies for example here we see Albert the great emperor so let's think about some other appositives for example if we say if we say that uh, Messi, for example, Messi. Who is Messi? Now, Messi, comma, the great Argentine player, a great superstar, anything. Oh, by the way, uh, in the comment, there are some uh, people who are saying that uh, HR, our modifier, should be Okay, this is just as it was pre scheduled that this lecture will be on modifier. That's why I am uh, giving my lecture on modifier, but actually I will give my lecture on other things when my schedule class will be held that is I will start with narration and this modifier class is just the continuation of the routine okay so don't worry that is we will uh, all of us uh, are continuing with modifier and the case is not like that okay so be in peace so here we see that Akbar the great emperor is famous for his achievement. Now we can understand that appositive, what is appositive? Appositive is a noun phrase or a group of words <laughs> with nouns which modify a particular noun and gives more information about that particular noun. For example, if we say Messi, the great Argentine player, Neymar, the Brazilian sensation, Cristiano Ronaldo, 
one of the greatest players in the world. Now, all these noun phrases, that is Messi, the great Argentine player, uh, Neymar, the Brazilian sensation, the Brazilian sensation, this is a noun phrase which is post-modifying the noun Neymar. Messi, the great Argentine footballer, this great Argentine footballer, it is giving an extra information about the noun Messi. Now, <clears throat> appositives actually are noun phrases which give extra information about a particular noun. That is clarified. Now, let's proceed. People that hardly seen so great a king. Now, I have... Uh, we are asked to post modify this particular word people and we are asked to do that using present participle actually this should be present participle phrase This should be present participle phrase. People dash had hardly seen so great a king. Now we are asked to post modify it with pre uh, present participle phrase. We know that <coughs> present participle phrases are phrases with main verb plus ing. Now how can we use a present participle phrase after this noun, people. We can say people living in India. People living in India. So we are actually speaking about the Indians and we are actually speaking about an Indian king here we see we have used the word the phrase people living in India and hardly seen so great a king people living in India had hardly seen so great a king so this phrase living in India is a present participle phrase the Mughals were no longer foreigners in his time. Here, he is, is referring to Akbar. Now, the Mughals, here we have to use related pronoun. Basically, related pronoun phrase. So, we have to post-modify this noun with relative pronoun phrase. What is a relative pronoun phrase? Relative pronoun phrase is a particular phrase which can be uh, identified in this way. That is, this is a kind of phrase where there is a relative pronoun and that phrase connects the particular word which is going to be modified with the other part of the sentence. Now, if I am saying the Mughals who came from Central Asia. The Mughals who came from Central Asia were no longer foreigners in his time. The question is, you do not know perhaps that the Mughals are from Central Asia. 
you need not know everything. <laughs> if your, his, your history is so bad, that is not a sin or you have forgotten the information, fine. So what will you write? At least we know that the Mughals were outsiders. So the Mughals who came from outside or the Mughals who came from outside of India were no longer foreigners in his time. We must keep in mind that is when we are post modifying using any uh, relative pronoun phrase, at the relative pronoun phrase we must have a particular relative pronoun and then we will have perhaps a uh, main verb and the other part. The dynasty turned into Indian. The dynasty turned into Indian. Now I am saying that it should be modified. The word dynasty should be modified with a preposition phrase. How can I modify it? Post modify, of course. How can I post modify this one? I can post modify this one using. The dynasty from Central Asia turned into India. Now again the question comes, sir, we, what is a dynasty? I remember dynasty when a bomb show. The dynasty from Central Asia turned into India. Now when we are saying that we have to post modify this word dynasty ultimately <coughs> we are using this preposition phrase because we are asked to use the preposition phrase so in a preposition phrase the phrase starts with a preposition and this preposition plays the pivotal role to connect that phrase with the other parts of the sentence. Just think about this sentence without this form, from. The dynasty, Central Asia turned into Indian without this from. Then the sentence is not completed. So preposition phrase is a kind of phrase where the preposition stands at the beginning and it plays the key role to maintain the connection between <coughs> the words of the particular sentence. So ultimately we can see that we are having uh, different kinds of post modifiers, appositive, noun phrase which gives extra information about any particular noun, present participle phrase, we have um, main verb plus ing who is modifying a noun. We have what? We have relative pronoun phrase which starts with the relative pronoun and the relative pronoun plays the dominant role to maintain the connection between the other words in a sentence. And we have here preposition phrase which is actually maintaining the connection between all the other words in a particular sentence. So, let's have some other practice like uh, some are saying that clarify preposition phrase. Preposition phrase is a kind of phrase where we see that the phrase starts with the preposition and 
then there will be noun or verb and the preposition plays the pivotal or key role to maintain the connection among all the other words in a particular sentence like uh, let's focus on the preposition phrase, use of preposition phrase as post modifier like these particular sentences We can see that there are some words and there are some gaps. Game dash, that is gap. Thrones is a famous show. Game of Thrones is a famous show. The pen. On the table is mine. Give you some example to check your skill on modern grammar uh, on modifier. Okay, uh, that can be done, but that is a kind of class test or examination type question. Okay, let me uh, think. The man with a stick is my uncle. So here, we see in each of the cases when I am considering this one, this one, and this one. These three phrases these three phrases actually starts with preposition and then the preposition plays the key role to maintain the connection to maintain the connection among the words in this particular sentence so in this way actually We are able to understand what preposition phrase is. What is that? The structure is preposition phrase starts with a preposition. Then there is a noun usually or uh, any other word like verb or etc. But usually there are nouns. The and then we find that this pre particular preposition this plays the key role to maintain the connection between the words of a, of these sentences if i omit this of this on this with there will be no connection among the words in these sentences and when we use these words these of plus thrones ultimately this forms a phrase which are modifying 
these particular nouns gain the pain, the men, the man. Okay, and please do not post such comments that sir Bangla bolle bhala hoy. You had better leave this class now. If you are a student of Dhaka College, then it is your incompetence that you can't understand English. And if you are from any other college, you had better talk with your teacher that how can I follow a particular class which is totally conducted in English. We will not conduct any English class in Bengali language. Okay. Football is then a sport. Dash. Now I am saying relative pronoun phrase. What is a relative pronoun phrase? 
I have already explained, but now I am explaining it for you again. That is, uh, when I am using a relative pronoun phrase, relative pronoun phrase starts with a relative pronoun, and like the preposition phrase, here also the relative pronoun plays, uh, plays the dominating role to maintain the connection among the words in a particular sentence. Like football is a sports which was very popular once or once upon a time. It's up to you. I have written which was very popular once upon a time. Uh, you may use which was very popular in past or which is still very popular among us. Because, of course, football is very popular among us. Uh, as or somebody is saying that which is very popular in Bangladesh, playing in Bangladesh. No, why you will use playing in Bangladesh? Because when you are used which is playing in Bangladesh, Ultimately, it turns to be uh, <clears throat> something with intransitive verb and it is with infinite verb. Uh, it is uh, with a non-finite verb. Ultimately, the sentence is not finished. You have to finish the sentence using this relative pronoun phrase because here we see that there is a full stop. Of course, there may be a relative pronoun phrase used at the middle of a particular sentence, we, you, we will, we may use these non-finite verbs there at the middle of the sentence because we may have some uh, <coughs> finite verbs there. But here we have to finish it using this uh, relative pronoun phrase. So we had better, which was very popular was, uh, which was very popular once upon a time, or which is very popular in Bangladesh, even if we use which is very popular in Bangladesh, even then, uh, <coughs> yes, it is finished. Football is an sports which is very popular in Bangladesh. Okay, fine. Then, or which was very popular once upon a time. So, relative pronoun phrase is a phrase where we <coughs> will have a relative pronoun with a verb and some other parts and the relative pronoun will play the main role to maintain the connection between the words of it in a sentence. Cricket present participle was not much popular once. Cricket actually who is popular chilo now. Okay, fine. Now I have to post modify it with a present participle phrase. What is a present participle phrase? Present participle phrase is a kind of phrase where <coughs> present participle phrase is a kind of phrase where, where we have to use main verb plus ing. Cricket enjoying or having much popularity. Cricket. Enjoying or having much popularity, you can say now it is or now, it's up to you. If you use this word now, or if you do not use it, it doesn't matter at all. Enjoying much popularity was not, or as I have used this here, this much, so I will rather not repeat this much here, I will use great. Great popularity was not much popular once. The game. <coughs> Dash is a matter of pride now. 
Now, here, we have to use past participle phrase to post modify this particular word, the gain. <coughs> The game turned into a collective emotion or the game turned into a unifying force. Any, we can use anything. That is, I am using a phrase which will start with a past participle and then there will be uh, any preposition or any other part uh, or any noun. There will be a preposition or a noun which is called the past participle phrase. Now I am using this past participle phrase to post modify this word game. The game turned into a collective emotion is a matter of pride now. The nation wants to win every match. Now we have to use adverb here to post modify this verb once. <laughs> Eagerly. The nation wants to win. Uh, the nation wants to win every match eagerly. <clears throat> so, in this case, we may use this adverb eagerly. Now, the question is, what is a relative pronoun phrase or what is a relative pronoun clause? Ultimately, a uh, relative pronoun which is which start with the relative pronoun and where we are getting some uh, we are getting a main verb and some other words that often works as a clause as well but it can be used as a phrase as well that so what is a relative pronoun phrase or what is a relative uh, pronoun clause that is when we can say that relative pronoun clauses are used in a particular sentence to finish that sentence, that is a relative pronoun clause. But also when we are using that particular clause as a phrase or we are using it uh, at the middle of the sentence, ultimately it turned into a relative pronoun phrase. <clears throat>
Okay. Now, people dash are facing great difficulty nowadays. Here, I am asked to post modify this particular noun that is people living in cities. So it starts with present participle are facing great difficulty nowadays. The economy The economy turned into a weak one is not able to support them anymore. Here I am using this past participle phrase. <clears throat> Here I am using this past participle phrase that is the economy turned into a weak one is not able to support them anymore. So, this is a phrase where we are using this word turned. This is basically a past participle. Many people, again the relative pronoun phrase, are leaving towns. who fail to manage themselves or to maintain themselves are leaving towns. However, the inhabitants, now I have been asked to use a preposition phrase, are not immune to the pandemic. The inhabitants of the villages, the inhabitants of the villages, that is Uh, a preposition phrase. So this is a whole exercise on post modifier. In the next class, which will be a scheduled class of mine, we will have a discussion on narration. So let's uh, end here today. Okay, goodbye.